pretty play. What's up, guys, and welcome to another NBA Live video. Uh, I do apologize if I have posted this game clip in one of my other videos. Um, my DVR was not working today for some reason. So that's unfortunate. I actually had a really good game today that I wanted to record. But anyway. Um, today will not be a usual video. It will not be a wishlist video like I have been posting. Um, I was thinking last night, and have been thinking lately about this for that matter. Uh, if EA truly does listen, um, I know, you know, Scott O'Gallagher and, uh, Ryan have posted on the NBA Live Series Center forum. And they have said that they do listen, they do look for feedback. Um, James against Prince. I have a request that would really show if they truly do actually listen to the fans. Sean O'Brien stated a while ago that he appreciated uh, all the support for NBA Live 14, all the support for the series, and wants all of us to be a part of the ride, quote-unquote, back to the top. Now, if he says that, I have an idea for him to prove that they truly do listen to the fans, and they really do want us to be there to reclaim that number one seat at the top of the video game basketball market. In my eyes, what EA needs to do Bring a few of the loyal fans, you know, not bandwagon jumpers, whatever the hell you want to call them. Uh, the people that just talk to EA on Twitter and they end up owning a copy of 2K as well. I'm just saying, ain't no need for those nerf hoopers. I'm talking about the loyal fans, you know. Uh, me, for instance, I would absolutely love to. Uh, the Live King, you know, Cedric, Andrew, Jousming from an LSC. Bring a few of your loyal fans into the studio pre-release. Show them what you have been working on. Show them what you are planning on doing going forward. To breathe life back into the series and reclaim that number one spot that you so dearly want. Let us truly be a part of that journey. Let some of us see what you have been working on. Obviously, there's disclosure agreements to sign. Uh, I don't expect you guys you know, to fly us down there, pay for hotel, all that stuff. I, mean, I could probably get down there with my own money if I were to be selected and you guys did take the idea to heart. Um, if you guys really do want to get back to the top and you really do care about what the fans think, bring a few of us in pre-release. Now show us what you have been working on. Uh, maybe even, I mean, let us play a couple games if the game is playable at that point obviously there will be some bugs pre-release um uh, even top it all off you know wonderful idea in my mind i'm sure it'll be crazy in yours <laughs> maybe even get us in there face scan us into the game give us a developer team like the old teams that da used to do with nba live Get a bunch of the developers on a team, those loyal fans on the team, make it an unlockable code, make it some way you have to unlock it when a championship in Dynasty mode, what have you. Do something to show that you really, really do care what the fans think. As always, ladies and gentlemen, like the video and agree with it make sure to leave it a like and subscribe for more videos and check out my channel and leave a comment below what you thought of this video and what you do want to see in NBA Live 15 moving forward I will also leave my Twitter handle in the description you are free to contact me on there as well and make sure to register on the NBA Live Series Center forums your place for NBA Live PC mods and 2k mods as well as always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.